Hey, hey, welcome back to Resident Evil Village. It's Ooh. great to have you guys. It's the spoopy house. Yep, yeah, we're back in spoopy town. Spoopyville. I don't know how the game is going to top last time. Um, I don't think it will, but kind of doesn't matter because we're going to play it anyways. Right. So, yeah, no. And, uh, <laughs> Excuse me. You've been teasing me with these fish puns oh, yes. all day. Oh, yes. Hey, Rage, welcome, mm, welcome. Pizza, pizza. Yeah, I have been teasing <clears> you <throat> with the fish puns all day. Yeah, we don't like that. Are you sure? I feel like it's part of our charm. Mm. To bring in the puns and oh. make it real funny. Oh my god. What? I like his adorable. I know, he's precious. He's bad, but he's precious. Oh, he is the worst of all boys. The and worst. that makes him the best of all boys. Just the worst. Hello, Alenko. I squish him. Like yeah, him. see, Bella wants puns. Hey, Bella. Bella knows that I have been carefully curating a list of excellent puns. <sighs> well, you know what? Optimism is the name of the game. We're gonna we're gonna see mm -hmm. see how they are. Mm -hmm. So, um, so on a scale of one to ten, with one being a tadpole and ten being a whale, how excited are you to play this game? On a scale of one to ten? Yes. Uh, solid fin out of fin. Fin out of fin. Fin out of fin. <laughs> hey, look, dead fish. Ooh, I bet I can. Nice. Oh wait, yeah, because that's where he jumps. Okay, I remember that from. Go 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 go! Oh, free Willy. Hey, buddy. So I'm still confused about this guy, because. Uh huh. Obviously, he's one of Mother Miranda's children. Right. But he warns us. And then he still tries to eat us. I, you know, I'm getting the feeling. I'm getting the feeling that he is the token tragic figure in all this. Mm. Which, like, I'm on board with. Your your edges are red. Yeah, that's because I'm, I've been hit. Oh, I can shoot now. There we there go. You go. Oh, that was, that was very nice of you. Alright. I do like, like, this is a very interesting setup to me. Run, 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 run. But I, I have a question. Yes. Does it make you feel like you're walking the plankton? <sighs> Elliot. That's, a, that's not an answer. Elliot, why are you this way? Um, well, you know, that's a, that's a great question. Oh. But, you know, I think it's fine. Probably fine. <sighs> But yeah, this this guy definitely has. Uh... <sighs> do it, do it, do it! Oh. Oh, ooh, that's 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 gross. Man, it sure is nice that this is all laid out in just such. Yeah, a way. Yeah, laid out in just such a way. It makes it really, really nice. Right. So why are those blue wrapped in blue tape? Uh, I actually I don't know. Probably to indicate that they are. Oh wait, yeah, look, that one's an orange. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah it's yeah. the different. Okay. I'm, I'm tracking. Okay. I'm well, tracking. I think this level is swimming along nicely. Wouldn't don't you mean it's going swimmingly? That's that's what I just said. You said it's swimming along nicely. Yeah. I think it's going swimmingly. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, oh. well, I'm I'm sure oh. this is fine. Oh. I'm sure this is fine. Oh! Twice in one playthrough. That was bad. Eely bad. Oh my god, Elliot. I love you. What's, what's wrong? Are you trying to guilt me into thinking of a better fish pun? Oh my god. Don't you think me... Oh my god. We are going to see what happens here. Oh, no, we need the white one. The white one, too, yeah. 
Oh, they only stay up for a certain amount of time. Yeah. That's what happened last time, must have. Yeah. Hmm. And I bet the white one is going to be over here. Well, this is officially difficult. Elliot. Yes. I love you. I am scaling up the puns. You know, Magnum. I gotta make sure I... Magnum? Ha. Huh? We got Magnum ammo. Is there a Magnum? For my Magnum dong. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Always Sunny lately. So I wouldn't say it's a problem. God damn it. Oh. Oh. Looks like you really bit the hook, huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on. Don't take a carp on my jokes. <laughs> you went Bella, belly up. no. <laughs> belly. Uh, this is great. I'm just gonna watch you like keep going through this puzzle. You know, I'm I, I kind There's of, the white one. Yeah, no, I'm resetting everything. You kind of what? Yeah, hang on. We're gonna do this. You gotta do them in a certain order. We're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. This, if I can. Run, run, run. Run, oh. run, 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 oh. run. Yep. There you go. There you go. Oh, no good, no Aww. good! Oh. Dang it. Can't you do any beta on this? Uh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Love story gaming was a mistake. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I think we're having a grand old time. Everyone else seems to be enjoying it. What's your problem? Got a whale of a tale to tell you, lads. A whale of a tale or two. About the flapping fish and the girls I've loved on nights like this with the moon above. A whale of a tale, and it's all true, I swear by my tattoo. Look, I know you're not having a good time, but this is cracking me up. There was Mervaid <laughs> Minnie, met her down in Madagascar, <laughs> she would kiss me anytime that I would ask her then one evening. <laughs> the flame of love blew out, blow me down and pick me up, she swapped me for a trout. Uh. Hey, hey, Nathan. Yes, dear. Would, would you say that this level is your mimosis? There's no way I'm gonna risk going there now. Yes, sir. What is the hat? All right. Alinka's very interested in what you're doing because he thinks he can catch the fish. Alenko, help me catch the fishy. He's wrong, of course, because, you know, this isn't a catfish. No, and nothing, no reaction on that one? No? Sorry, I am focusing on... Fuck yeah, you made it. I'm focusing on all of this success. Oh! So much success. Moreau, this isn't that hard. I'm not a difficult target to... It... Oh, I thought you were, for a second, I thought you were talking about how his puzzle isn't that hard, and I'm like, bruh. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking, he could... 
Uh, like that? He could like that? Just hook you? <laughs> oh, Moreau, baby, you are the best. He just shouted, I'm the best, and body slammed me, and that's what I'm talking about. You are. Oh, Moreau, I love you. Man. I think Moreau might be my favorite. You know, you really gotta stay present. Don't get caught up in the current of things. Like... Oh. <laughs> Watch you out. Bet you are, buddy. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Fishy Eye Joe? His name is Moreau? Fishy Eyed Fish Moreau? Fishy he was Moreau. right there. Oof. I do feel sorry for him. Right. Which, I mean, I know is the point, but. Right. Thank you, Bella. Even antagonists need positive affirmation. It's true. It is official. Oh my god. Look. All of you. Look. Everyone is in agreement, so why don't you just take the net opinion and run with it? Oh my god. I'm kind of curious about the fact that there was a magnum that we missed. I told you. That's one my magnum dong. If anybody knows where that magnum is... It's probably too late. You probably can't go back to get it. Unless you want to redo the whole level. I don't think I you do. I think I'm good. Are you playing fetch with Elenko? I am. He's so adorable. Well, this way, he's not climbing on top of the computer, and he wants to be under the blankets, but it's he doesn't want to lay still, so I'm not allowing him under the blankets. So instead he just paws and paws and paws. It's annoying. So maybe I can tire him out so that he will come sit down and chill. All right, so while I'm doing this, yes, you know a thing or two, mm -hmm. or, you know, five, mm -hmm. about a uh, couple things. Villains, villains who are tragic, misfigured, uh, tra tragic, misfigured Call people. Big one. <laughs> Not you two, Ethan. <laughs> you know, tragic, misshapen what? villains who just want the approval of a pretty lady. I mean, I feel like if, if I have that conversation, kind of barging in on this moment that Ethan is having. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so, okay. Yes. Psychology of Moreau, while I'm busy, you know, just milling about. Ha! Uh, caught between a rock and a wet place, huh? <laughs> uh, sounds like a sounds like a good night to me. Um, yeah. So I mean, that's it is yeah, a pretty well known trope, actually. Um, the two big examples that most people can think of um, would be Phantom of the Opera and Hunchback of Notre Dame. Right. Um, but which, you've which also alternate between some of my fav one of my favorite stories and one of your favorite stories. Yes. And I think it's fun that they're both about deformed Frenchmen who just want love. Yes. Um, but you also have to consider there's Beauty and the Beast, which is, you know... Another a, deformed Frenchman who just wants love. Exactly. Wow, there's there's a pattern here. There's a pattern. Um, but then that also lends itself to stories about, like, werewolves or people who, you know, were in horrible accidents. Like, any, like, Harlequin romance, like... They've oh, tackled it at least once. Um, oh, Davy Jones in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Who is my absolute, no joke, my favorite film villain of all time. Okay, right, but you know, disfigured, disfigured tragic, Can't climb it like loved this. a woman, right? Yes, yes. Um, well, well, okay, so we say disfigured. Um, hmm. Out, outside right. of the... It's, the norm. Yeah, it's it's more of turned... Okay, so Quasimodo and uh, the fan of the opera are disfigured, for sure. Yes. But every other example are examples of people who have turned monstrous. And, you know, actually, I think it's kind of interesting, now that I think about it. Hey, we're, we're actually onto something here. I know I can't climb like this. What do I do? 
Um, what, can you get the other part of the ladder? Uh, if I know where it is, yeah. What's um, so, Moreau is a very French name, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. Look at that. Yeah, I can probably just crank that, crank that soldier boy. So, we've mm. got, a, got another example of a, you know, French... Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Gun! There we go. <laughs> yes, I use gun. I use gun. Gun to crank. Um. Um, yes, we've got another example of a... I don't know if Moreau is himself French, but we've it's got a French, a French name. name. Definitely a French name. Who has turned monsters. What the hell is going on in France? I don't know. And also, he does want the love of a woman. It just mm -hmm. happens to be his mother. Motherly love, yes. Right. So, yeah, he very much fits into that um, that trope. Um, which to me is a... Yes. You got a pun for this? You know what I'm about to be? On the line. A flying fish. Ah! Whoa! Um, I don't know if hey, Dracula... Hey, Cardi. Hey, Cardi. Good to see you. ...would count exactly. Uh, vampires fit into more of, like, a noble savage kind of trope. Um, uh, I don't... I don't know if that's entirely true. But, like, they're not... It's not the okay. same disfigurement. Like, they're... I would say the original... Dracula probably counts, and uh, the Bela Lugosi Nosferatu. Yeah, Nosferatu definitely counts. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't say modern vampires fit that at all. Yeah, vampire. Okay, so I know a lot about vampires. A lot of disfigurement <laughs> mm -hmm. going on, but that mm, more of a loss of humanity kind mm -hmm. of deal. But vampires have often, and actually, we see this in Lady Dimitrescu as well. Uh, vampires have traditionally represented uh, the decadence of uh, decadence, hedonism, and especially uh, the self indulgence indulgence of uh, what society deems impure. Yes, um, that's why a lot of vampire stories focus heavily on the uh, sexuality and the sexual angle of vampires because a lot of the societies that told vampire stories in the early days uh, were very sexually repressed. Did you know that when Bram Stoker going? Uh, wrote Dracula he chose the neck because he didn't think it would be as sexually appealing? I did not know that. Yes. That backfired. Yeah, right? <laughs> Okay, so the original Dracula, the original book Dracula, slaps. It fucking so slaps. Good. It is one of the best examples of a slow build uh, slow for horror. Burn, slow burn. Yeah, it, it is. It is the one of the best examples. It has really unfortunate <laughs> examples of what Texas people sound like. Yeah, but I mean. Okay, I legit don't know where to go. Well, you just came from here. Just I don't came think you down. have to. So I come out here, yes. right? And I go over here, right? Uh -huh. And now what? Can you go to the right? No, uh, go up. No, turn around. Turn that way. Yeah, I don't Can you go over there? Yeah, I don't think so. It's not, not going to let me. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's too much rubble in the yeah, water. Yeah, don't go in the water. Um. I mean, French... French fish boy isn't around right now. No. I think I need to get over there. So how do I get over there? Can you shoot something? Can you get on top of the Let's see, do I need to get back up there? No, that I That wouldn't make think sense. I do. Wait, what's that? Do you see a shiny? I do. Might just be a spark. Right, there it is. Okay. Putting. But no, Moreau seems to be following well, again, we've got a classic horror trope. You've got the creepy dolls, you've got the vampires, mm -hmm. and now Moreau is kind of, so far, the most subtle one. Yeah. Because while a very specific trope, the Frenchman who has turned monstrous for the love of a woman, or in want of the love of a woman, is, uh... <laughs> you know, it's weird how specific yet 
encompassing that trope is. Yeah, he's kind of a watered <clears throat> down version of the trope. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, like it's interesting to me the psychology of that trope because it is very much. It, it it's it's a. It's not a typical men's power fantasy trope. This is more of a softer, romantic, mm-hmm. you know, it speaks to the girls and the gays. Um, go back to the mill and then look up towards the left when you go down the yeah. stairs again. Um, okay, so, you know, that might be actually something to analyze is would that count as a power fantasy? So, who's that, the one in power? Well, the idea of a power fantasy in fiction is um, it, it's a lot more robust right, than up. just I have the I have the power to do things. That's where you came from. What is that? What is what? That to the left. That buff beam. I don't think that's shootable. No. Okay. All right. Look up again. We're gonna go. Out you part? And look up. No, go back in. What am I looking at? What is that? Sh- huh? Maybe there's something up up on the top that Maybe I can crank. Maybe there is that you're like missing. Maybe I can crank something up there. But okay, so the idea of a power fantasy is not necessarily um, I'm in charge. I'm the biggest and baddest. Uh, it is reaffirming Wait, to the audience. Did you go too far? Is there a second level? I don't. I don't think so. Let me see if there's something I can crank up here. Right. But it's a reaffirmation to the audience that the way they're living is the correct way to live. Right. All right I already cranked this, didn't I? Yeah, that's how you got in there. I already cranked this. Um, yeah, like... Uh, Ooh, what's that? What's that? Uh, oh, it's the see. Sparky that we shot earlier. Right, but does it do something? I don't think so. Oh, there's a couple. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's... Correct. Hmm. So, um, okay, so let's ask a question. Uh, when it comes to... Okay, stop climbing. Look around. Okay, I don't think there's a second level. Because no, there would there would be a prompt to get off. And there's right, no but I was to trying to see if there was anything that would be helpful. Um. Wow, I am not good at video games today. Wait, go back. All the way back. Can you climb that? No, you can't climb that. Okay. Hmm. Um. Right, but like, who is this fantasy for then? Right. Okay. So let's let's talk about. Speak to. Let's talk about say the Beast or Quasimodo or the Phantom of the Opera. Who identifies with Quasimodo, the Beast, and the Phantom of the Opera? Well. And while we're at it. Could anyone who identifies with them please throw a bridge up or something because I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where you're going either and I can't help, so sorry, no bridge for you. What's that? That's another Sparky. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, so we came from there. Yeah, we came we from there. Ziplined there. Yes. We came down here. Yes. Do you have to go back now there? Alright, no, so step so. step next is to determine where we're trying to get. And if I had, if I were a betting man. Probably over there. No, I think that, that is where we were, probably. Huh. Or, well, okay, we need to get over there, I think. Yeah, because that's where all the sparkies and stuff are. So maybe there's a way in here. Maybe like a. Oh, wait, can you break through that? What? That, that light, where the doors... Yeah, I don't think so. You've been able to do it as... I can't, I can't even get over there with all the stuff in the way. Uh, I know, right? This is This is, this is really frustrating. frustrating. Fuck I don't, this box. I don't know if this is bad design or if I just suck. Okay, so we, we crank, we come down, we come out... You'd think there'd be a way out from here. There's not. 
there's a bridge here that uh -huh. leads over here. Should indicate that here's the way to go. But there's can't even literally, get over there. I can't get to the other side here. Yeah. There's nothing to interact with over here. <sighs> wow, this wow. is annoying. What the hell is going on? Wow. Do we you like this? Do you want me to do a Google? Uh, no. Okay. If it gets to be too long, we'll, All we'll right. do a Google. But... Wait, wait, wait. Turn to the right. Is that a thing you can climb? It is not. Damn it. It looks like it. Guys, we just want to talk about disfigured Frenchmen. Right. I've got things to say. And yet. All right. I guess we try up here again. All right. So we dropped down from a zip line. <laughs> Maybe there's another one. Maybe? Wait, what? Oh, I thought I saw something. Yeah, I thought that was a button. I was about to be really excited for a second. Okay. Can we just drop down here? Nope, we can't just drop down here. Mm -hmm. Can we go past here? No, we can't go past here. Can you? Okay, left. wait, go to the left. Yep, go to the left. Nothing to the left. Maybe there's a vantage point up here. We have to shoot something. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back. No, the, to the left, babe. Right here? No, the far left where you were. We're going oh my to God. the right. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, that so was what a... was the point of going down there at all? I have no idea, but it's over now. Uh, we are bad at this. Uh, All right, Frenchman. All right, so who? So Jesus, yes, to confuse us. Um. So who really? I don't want to say benefits, but. Okay. Right, you're you're just focused on the puzzle. White. Right, you you talk. Okay, so who benefits from this story? Isolated people who don't feel like they fit in with, you know, society's definition of beauty and, you know, they want to be accepted for who they are. Um, so... Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, hang on. There we go. That's more like it. All right. Blue, white, red. White, red. Yeah. So, you know, they, they believe that, you know, society is wrong. They're right. And, uh, you know, eventually love will come to them and find them and everything will be okay. There we go. Um, and, you know, for some people that is true. That's And I think that's... a huge part of why you know a lot of gay people latch on to stories like that so much um but for others you know maybe there's a reason society doesn't oh can you, you can you ban that yeah i got it it's how you know we've reached the big times as the bots are trying to sell us followers hey big big dave <laughs> Big, big Dave, you will not believe the day we're having, buddy. Such, such the worst day. Whew. Yike. Hey, but we found a typewriter. We found a typewriter. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so in my mind, that's why a lot of... Oh, now we can go Now we there. can go through it. Just track and track. Okay, it. yep, track and track. Yeah. Um, but in my mind, that's why a lot of, you know queers really latch on to stories like that uh, because it gives us hope for you know finding our place in the world or carving out our own corner of it or even just finding someone to love us who will accept us as we are uh you know Lindsay ellis actually did a really good video about uh it's called i think my monster boyfriend and it is explicitly about 
that very idea of, you know, the quote-unquote monster as the romantic. There we go. The romantic partner. Mm -hmm. And how that, how that relates to the othering of, you know, society. And yeah, that, that definitely speaks to the queer experience. Absolutely. Because, you know, I mean, I don't know about you, but like... Uh, <clears throat> go ahead. October 1st, a sunny day. Mother Miranda brought me five peoples from the village, just like I asked. I made them sleep with some liquid, and then I put cadeau in their tummies. What's cadeau? I don't know. I am looking forward to the cadeau to grow in their tummies. Yike. October 2, a cloudy day. Four of the people from the village are dead this morning. One is almost a lichen. Ah. I sent it to my lab on the mountain. I failed again. Mother wants strong vessels, but I cannot get any. I will need more people from the village. Interesting. All right. So, so I'm guessing Moreau. Moreau is a mad scientist as well. What did you say that he's a doctor? Oh my god, did I see what they're going for. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Hmm. Something smells so, fishy. Oh my god. Alright, so Moreau is Moreau is definitely taking off a bunch of the bunch of the good archetypes. Oh, is Kadu the mold? I don't no, I don't remember it ever being called that. But maybe that's like the game tells us. Hi, buddy! Oh. Yikes. Oh, no. I, mean, I don't like that at all. That's real gross. Yeah, that's, that's, that's no good. Mm -mm. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna make some shotgun shells. I like this, like, classic violin in the background oh yeah absolutely. it's like old school horror music oh yike i don't want to take this you're just oh my god reload please getting all over you open up open up open up buddy open up buddy Gotta go for the weak spot. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, is that his body? Yeah, it is. Good baby. I, you know, I don't feel super. And that's the thing is like, the way that this trope works is, you know, by making you feel sympathetic. I would love some room to maneuver. Uh, and sorry for this person who has done you know, horrible things, whether it is um, justified or not, you know, depends on the telling. Um, yeah, I'd, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, we don't know enough about Moreau yet. No, and I think that's... Yeah, definitely needed more time to get to know him. I, I feel like that's a failing in this because, like, we're supposed to feel sympathetic or we're supposed to hate him, but we're kind of just, you know, I wouldn't say uncaring, but we're unenthusiastic at best. The, des the design is really cool. Yeah, the design is good, but, like, I don't know who he is. I know a little bit about his motivation. Sure. But I don't know who he is. Or why he does what he does. Or even as much as what... We know some of what he did, kind of. But we really don't. We're, we can make inferences. How do you know? Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. That gotta hurt. Ooh. Oh, and I'm out of... Mm. Man, you're, you're really drowning here, aren't you? <sighs> Look, it's been a hard week. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Alright, so step one. Alright, he's gonna break that, so I gotta rush to gather some supplies. Sure that everything is loaded up before we get popping. Oh, neat! Thank hey, you. Keep Bella. an eye out for those. All right, 
she is gonna pop out here. Yep. And you wait for the open mouth. Okay, is there like I guess I gotta do this. Yes, you do gotta do this. Jesus. Oh, he's right on top of yep, you. I see that. It's a good thing fishtails do no damage. Oh, there's a barrel yep, to the right. Yep, I already shot that one before. Okay, run, 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 run. And blow. Boom. Oh, you missed! Can you run to the left without yeah, it? Yeah. I'm working on it. Yeah, there's a barrel there. Alright, we need first aid. Yeah. Yike. <sighs> yeah, okay. This is trouble. Yep, this this is trouble. We're right here in River City. Captain T stick around to P and that stands for pool of water. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Ooh. How did you get out of that? Where is he? Okay, just remember he's gonna go up and then it's gonna go. Yeah, backwards. there's literally nothing I can do about this. Oh, there's a. I, I ha I, I'm busy. I can't. That barrel wouldn't do anything right now. Alright, but I picked up one of those, so that's nice. Alright. Yeah, because he's up there. Barrel's right here. Yeah. Come on down, baby. Ooh, I don't like that noise. There he is, there he is, there he is. Yep. I'm a running. Too bad. Oh man. Ugh. Yuck. Stuff is so gross. Right? Okay, why is that yellow thing there? Can you get on top of it? Can you leave? I don't, I don't think so, Sparrow. but I really don't have time to examine that now. Oh, that was close, that was close, that was close. Big gun. Oh, oh my god. Nice. Oh, did you get him? Did you get him? I don't think so. Something's happening. Yeah, I think that was just an opportunity to pump him. Where are you, baby? Little Morel? There he is, there he is. Ah, dang. This is, oof. Yeah. So this isn't scary, but it is definitely tense. It's like this weird hide and seek. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. So can I craft any ammo? Yes, I can. So does the menu pause the game? Yes. Ah. Well, that's convenient. I could see that being a problem if it yeah. didn't. Games like Dark Souls and Bloodborne don't. Come on, buddy. Open up. He's doing. He's working on it. Chewing on something. It's himself. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Ow. I don't want ammo. Going to get squished. Going well, to get slimed. There, there you go. All right. I, I love it. His okay. So there is an actual. There is actually a parasite in the animal kingdom that will find fish and eat its tongue and replace its tongue with itself. Ooh. Ooh. In death as he was in life. Disgusting. That's rude. So I, I think that design might have been based on that. It's also very interesting to me how, like, 
The exit's up ahead. So he came out of the mouth, right? Mm -hmm. And Lady Demetresk was kind of like fused to the back. Like there's a theme here. Right. But I'm not... Except the, the doll lady was just... A doll lady. Okay, so Demetresk was a really fun boss fight. Yes. This one was just frustrating. Mother Miranda gave me a rose jar. No one likes me, which is why I thought they would leave me out again. But Heisenberg said that was why we each got a rose. The ceremony cannot happen with all of us there. Mother didn't seem to care, though. Oh. Mother said rose is a vessel. Hmm. With a vessel, Mother can get her real child back. Oh. Even though she has been dead for a very long time. What was the name that on that grave? grave? Yeah. It was um, Eva, right? Maybe. I think that sounds right. But if Mother does, then what will happen to me? I'm not her real child. Would she abandon me? No. I don't want that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I think I got them all. Oh, it's my favorite show. Wait, what's that? Cadeau. Is that alive? Looks like a head. It's the amazing invincible bottle. Oh, it's another part to the key. Another Neat. part to the key. Excellent. Now it's a six winged. There we go. Six winged unborn. Oh. You're better off than I thought. What? Who's that? Oh, come on. We just met a while back. Nothing Eyes really apart. matters. You're the last asshole in my way, aren't you? You've got fight. I'll give you that, Ethan. But what's the plan when you have all four flasks? Give what are you trying to get at? Uh, mix them all I up and see what happens. Not Rude. On my good side. I don't get cocky. Oh I no, didn't Dimitrescu say at the beginning that his loyalty to Mother Miranda was questionable? Stroll, yes. Not too far outside the village. Go there and get my flask. Do that, and you pass. First, head back to the graveyard. Self-centered prick. Who are you? To, who, who? You know, I really don't like Ethan as a protagonist. I don't. That does look very mold-like. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. Um. <laughs> say my name, say my name. You're goddamn right. Okay, so here's here's the thing. Um, here's, here's what I'm thinking, okay? Mm -hmm. Rose is a vessel mm -hmm. for Mother Miranda's real child, right? Which means the spirit will enter it. Ow! That's where we came from. Well, okay, so here's the thing about Rose, mm -hmm. about the child. Um, in the, in Resident Evil 7, uh, both Mia and Ethan are, through the course of the game, like, seriously infected with the mold. Right, they're exposed. So maybe it's not Rose, maybe Ethan's the vessel. No, I, I think it's definitely Rose, because, like, uh, Ethan got just, like, fucked up in that game. Like, seriously fucked up. But, and one of the reasons that he can keep, like, regenerating, like, his hand or whatever, is because that's part of the mold infection. Like... Whenever you would do damage to people infected by the mold, like the, the Baker family, they could also reattach and regenerate and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. and it's just a thing the mold can do because it'll define, it'll define sci-fi powers. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, and that's how Ethan has been able to, like, go through all this shit is mm -hmm. because he's, he's, like, seriously mold-infected dude. Yeah. Um, he's kind of so, fucked up. So was Mia. Mia was also seriously mold infected, dude. Even more so than Ethan, uh, because she had been at the Baker estate for a long time. By the time I came to rescue, which her. is surprising to me that they were able to kill her in the beginning of the game. Yeah, that is kind of surprising, isn't it? So, do you think she's actually dead? No, I don't think she's actually dead. Um, but so, but the two of them, yeah, I think three years, because uh, the events of the game start off with 
Mia sends you a letter saying, come get me. You just, like, lost your wife for three years. And that was fine. Boy, this is a very long elevator ride. So, here's... So, like, yeah, that, that was a long elevator ride. So, here it is. Um, Rose is a child of two very seriously mold-infected people. Right. Which means there's got to be... Like... We were we were already people when we were infected by the mold. Mm -hmm. She was not. She was born in it, molded by it. Molded by it. Molded by it. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. So, yeah, it stands to reason that Rose would have a lot of special properties about her that would make Mother Miranda like want to use for whatever ritual is going to bring her own daughter back. Sure. Now here's what I'm asking. Here's, here's the question that I'm scratching my head about. Will it work? And if so, what are the horrible side effects? I've got an even better question. Yeah. How the hell did Mother Miranda know about this? Ooh, that is a better question. Because this is a pretty isolated village. Right. And granted, we, we apparently moved not far from here because... But why? They were talking about, you know, yeah, they moved local Europe. local recipe, local tale, local wine, all that shit. How do we put the baby back together? Duct oh. tape, super glue, My staples. <gasps> Maybe like... Finally, back in my element. I didn't even think to try to knife fight the fish. You really didn't. I, oh, I'm not sure that would have helped. Look, I have learned and grown as a character... And I have come to accept the limitations of my own knife fighter. Well, I'm proud of you. Man, I wish there was like a just a stab instead of a slash. Oh no no, this is a hack and slash. Hey buddy. So yeah, we we moved here. Yes. And because like that that seems to be what the what the beginning was telegraphing, with the local the local wine, the local story, the local everything, right? The local food, the soup, dude. The soup is fucking everywhere. So I'm wondering if there wasn't something that sort of drew us here. Right, like a job opportunity, or, like, why, why did we come to this tiny, tiny yeah, little we, village? We still don't know Europe. that yet. Do you think... So, okay. Mia... Oh, Jesus. ...was always talking of, you know, being paranoid and not wanting to talk about what happened... Do you think there's something subconscious there? Oh yeah, absolutely. Because Mia went through some really serious shit. Yeah. As one tends to do when they're, you know, an infected mold person. Who was held hostage in infected mold. Place. For three years. For three years, yeah. <laughs> Slash, slash, slash. A knife fight for Zombo. Oh, there's multiple Zombos. Okay. Two Zombos. Come on, reload already, Ethan. A big stink about that military training. What? They sound like they're choking on something. I got some chem fluid. I know I've got an herb. Do, 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 do. All right, but yeah, so yeah, so there's definitely something else. There's definitely going something on. else going on here. Well, and how did Chris find us? I, I mean, mean, what is Chris's part in all this? Yeah, why did he just roll in and kill Mia? Right. That that part I'm not entirely sure about. Uh, Chris has typically been a good guy in this series, so how do I get in here? Did you try the door? Yes, it's locked. Did you try the window? Uh. Did you try the window? It won't let me the window. Did you try that hole? I did not try that hole. 
Ah! Wow. He tried that hole. Rude. Alright, come here, baby. Yeah, so, like, I know enough about e uh, evil, about Resident Evil to know that Chris is supposed to be a good guy. So, so that was very surprising to me. Yeah, so maybe... Mother Miranda gave me a mountain. Now I can do lots and lots of Kado experiments. This is my secret special laboratory. I did three Kado experiments today. They all went pop and made a mess. Oh. I put the Kado, or I put in the Kado, and then I tried putting wolf blood from a needle into the spine. Oh. The person wiggled a lot and then killed my assistant. Oh. I cannot hold it down, so I put it in a cage. Now oh. I have to feed it. Hmm. Well then. That's... Oh, we got a wolf spain! Nice. Uh, we are definitely gonna... I need the wolf <laughs> The cat just fell off the couch. Alright, what do we... What do we get rid of? Build all the things. Okay, that's a one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay, no, we've, we've got... We've got the room. We've got the room. We just need to... Equip it. We just need to... Sort it. It's Tetris time, baby. I love Tetris. Do, 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 That's do, like do, honestly do, one of my do, favorite do, games. Do, do, do. Do, 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 yeah. do, Excuse me. Anyways. <laughs> um Yeah, so I'm very interested to see how this goes. Yeah, for sure. So okay. Um, yeah, there's, there's definitely more here that we're not seeing. I mean, we're what, halfway through the game? Uh, we're probably more than halfway through the game, I will wager. Okay. Well, I'm sure we will find out at some point. Yeah, I'd, I'd be genuinely surprised if we were less than halfway through. Nice. Okay, so it's also interesting to me. Like, I wonder how Mother Miranda. Oh, the spoilers are evil. Are the game, the residents are evil, apparently. God damn it. So that that is that is definitely a spoiler. That is definitely a spoiler. Please respect the no spoiler tag that we've put up. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's interesting to me, how, like, the different people that she's chosen to be her children. Like, I wonder how she's chosen them and why. Like, to me, like, there's always more behind this. You know? Oh, yeah. For I, sure. I don't think we're ever going to find out because I feel like we would have already. We've gone through three of them. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, and that's that is a criticism that I have about this game is it's not actually giving us any answers. Yeah. The, the, the story is kind of thin. Yeah. Like, it's great for people to, um, Anal not analyze, but like build around and build up Look at that. and Look at that. Isn't nice. that a thing of beauty? No, it's real nice. Don't eat that. Um it's good for people to okay, headcanon and stuff. Actually I want to check something. But not particularly good for like the actual story. You know? Collect rows. Neat. Okay, so yeah, like the story is pretty not great. It's threadbare, I'd say. Um, cause the it, it seems like the villains here are supposed to be the showcase, mm -hmm. and they're great design, they're great presentation, they're really bad stories. Yeah. Um, aside from like, okay, so oh, it's a big boy. It is a big boy. About to clear up more space in your inventory. Oh, I do like. Okay, so. All right, so Moreau did all of these experiments. 
Right. With various concoctions of the Kadu and other things. So that means that all of these people uh -huh. were, were, were villagers. Residents. Were just random villagers. Yeah, which... We They're kinda, test subjects. We we're just that. on a murdering spree. We kind of knew that, but yeah. It's it's nice to have that affirmation. Um, yeah, I, I agree. Is this, is this the right way? Test the drought house, no. So we need to go... Where's the... Labyrinth puzzle. Oh, that's that's like that. Yeah, that's that thing. You need to find the graveyard. Is this a save point merchant? This map is much bigger than it. All right, so we need to go north. Here. All right. So we need to turn around. Yeah, it's a big map. It's a fun game to play. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. But like, okay, for a game that is very clearly trying to be a an awesome villain showcase, it's not. It's not. Um, magnet ammo, nice. Yeah, we're gonna save those for the bosses. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. The you labyrinth, wanna, You wanna yeah. go back and do that? Uh, yeah, because we haven't done that yet. At all. All right, yeah, let's do that. All right, let's see. Labyrinth puzzle. Oh, we yeah, you're not that far. on the way to the labyrinth yeah. puzzle. Yeah. Not that far. All right. You so, went back that way. Yeah. Might as well try it at least once, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is fine. This is fine. Like, I, I, I dig the presentation. I really do. But it really is... Like, it's just a thin story that's not well presented. And... Are you heading the right way? I think you... Uh... Maybe. Yeah, let's find out. Um, it's just like the the. There are no answers. Oh no, that goes down. down no. Down. Yeah. Yeah, you need to go back up and turn around. Um, it just gives you more questions, or it expects you to just not ask questions well, and yeah, just accept. Yeah, because like it. Okay, so here's the big problem that I'm having with all of this, is uh. Is there the a ladder? In, the entire story of the villains, which, like, the marketing was almost nothing, but it was oops all villains. Yeah. Okay, how do I, how do I get there? Labyrinth puzzle, it's in here, so it's in there somewhere. Um, yeah, it was, it was oops all, uh, oops, oops all villains was yeah. the, the whole thing. I mean, it, it pretty strongly... A photo of a rare animal. That's a okay, pig. Cool. Yeah, but it probably gives us the good meats. Um, maybe we do need to go down. Yeah, maybe we, maybe so. It focused pretty heavily. I don't see a ladder, Bella. Did you see a ladder? We're going down. Yellow timber. Uh, so. Okay, yeah. Uh, the all of the story that we have for the bad guys is uh, coming from notes that notes we find. and stuff yeah it, it, it honestly feels like they had to go back and, and add, add things, the story yeah, later because people didn't understand what was happening or even just because they realized they had not told the story well. right they or they you know they just had these villains and... like like here's what i know about lady Demetresk, based entirely on lady Demetresk. uh you know just based on that chapter with no supplementary notes she is a vampire lady who serves Mother Miranda and has three daughters, right? Yep. We don't know her motivation. We don't know the, her connection to the winemaking. We don't know any yes, of that. Yes, we do. The winemaking happened. Oh, no, but she didn't yeah. talk about it. No one talked that about it. That was all in, in notes. Note. Yeah. I think we're heading the right way. I hope we're heading the right way. Yeah, because the thing turned blue. It was red before. That just means we've explored it all. Um, okay, what is this? Well, the labyrinth puzzle. Yeah, we should be right yeah. on top of it. Um, Where are you? I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind of what we were thinking, too, is... 
Um, yeah, because she said it was local wine. Local wine. This is confusing. Maybe this was a mistake. Uh, but I really want to see it I don't at least think, once. I don't really think this is super confusing. I think we're just bad at this. Yeah. Okay, we'll just keep, we'll just hold on to the ball. Just no, because I, I know the mermaid probably goes with Moreau. Well, and yeah. Stuff. And it's right, it's here somewhere. Somewhere. But where? Somewhere out there. Kishu passed it? A little squishy? Oh no, this, this, goes, little squishy. Into, this goes into here, and we're back here. Dang it. How do you get back over there? Because that's where we need to be. Yeah, it's, it's here somewhere. Yuck. That's his vomit. Gross. Yeah, I want to do at least one of these. Yeah, because I really want to see what they are. But this is the first ball we've found. Okay, let's see. All right, so it should be up. It should be up on a platform. Let's see, am I pointing at it? Yes. So it should be up here is what it looks like. So how do you get over there? Is there a turn? Oh, that goes back up again. Oh, I was looking to see if there was a staircase. Yeah, I it can. It looks like okay, there's a so staircase. Okay, so I can, I can probably get up there just by looping around here, but I don't see it. To the right? Yeah, it says it's right here. Okay. Weird. Okay, go back. Are you sure we're on the right floor? No, I'm not sure we're on the right floor. Bruh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to spend too hyper long on this because... We only have so much time. Right? This is annoying though, I really... Ooh. Yeah, this is. I agree. We're going completely the wrong way. Oh, yeah, this is where we, we did the boat. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to find another boat. I want another boat. You want another boat? I want another boat. I doubt there's a second boat. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, right? Mm hmm We can always come back here later. Right, in theory. Um, I'm going to do one more look around on the upper level. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a real quick one. And, and then move on. Yeah, if, if we can't find it, we're, I am legit just going to Google look up where it is later. And figure it out from there. So that we can actually, you know, I don't want to look at like how it's done, what it is. Or right, anything, just but how to find. I just want to find. How to find. How to find it. But yeah, no, you're right, because like everything we know has been portrayed through these letters and notes and journal entries. And it, it feels very... Lazy. Well, it also feels very dated, honestly. Like, this is what they did before we had the technology to build the game, the story into the game. Well, even even games like Bioshock did this a lot. But, yeah, I was, I was actually going to talk about that a little bit. It's not environmental storytelling. No. Um, environmental storytelling is letting the setting tell your story. Uh, it's like, say... Uh, in, in Bloodborne, right? You can glean the story based on the uh, based on the architecture. The architecture alone helps to inform what the sequence of events in the game is. Uh, in Hollow Knight, if you if you go through the Mantis Village, uh, you find references to a pact that they made. You find that they are proud warriors. You find that they uh, were guarding the entrance to a nest full of spiders and you can glean kind of what was going on from these details uh it's the game just prevent or presents the environment see if trust you to know what this or trust you to be able to figure out the story 
This is not, not that. Is it over here? Watch it be over there, and we were just lost the whole... Yup! It was over here. The whole time. The whole time. The whole time. The whole time. Wow. Guys, it's just... It's been a rough week. Mermaid Ball. Oh, yay. Oh, oh. Oh, it's, it's one of these. It's one of these. Nice, nice, oh, nice. That's so cool. I love that. Oh, oh shit. Okay. We. I like this. This is neat. This is a nice little. Yeah. Yeah, okay. this is this neat. Is, this is neato. It's a very interesting idea. This is like super intricate too. Okay, go down the hole. Oh, you went oh. too far. <laughs> too far down the hole. I wonder what the prize is. Or if it's just a congratulations, Probably you did it. That we can sell to Big Big Dave. Which, you know, normally I'd be like, okay, well that's kind of dumb. But you know what? Big Big Dave has probably had a bad week too. Yeah. I mean, you killed his wife. Let's let's give him something nice. Well, no, that was lot. That was 2 weeks ago that you killed his wife. I'm sure he's over it by now. Oh, well, that that's just getting frustrating. Mm -hmm. We There you go. Yeah, okay, so that's that trick. Ah, right. uh, you see the yeah, hole in the ground. Ooh, that was close. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, this is a zigzaggy. This is riveting. I love this. This is actually, yeah, a lot of fun. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, you're almost there. Yep. Oh. Don't fall off the end, don't fall off the end. Yeah! yeah. Oh, confetti! Oh, that's so happy. Ooh. Chartreuse skull. Oh. oh. Lanograph. I love it. <laughs> That was nice. I'm glad we did that. I was annoying to find it, but I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we did that too. That was, oh, I can't wait to give Big Big Davis a present. Yeah. I love him. Okay, but no, so yeah, this is not environmental storytelling. Oh, haha. <laughs> this way. That way. Okay, good. No. You, oh, yes. Yes. You know, normally I'd be like, fuck you, I know where I'm going. But I don't uh, think this, we know where we're going. This episode has demonstrated that no, no, we do not. No, we do not. At all know where we are going. Right. Yeah. We absolutely do. And the problem with that is... We made up all of this stuff. Yeah. Like, we, we are telling the story of Big Big Dave. We don't care about any of the characters because of what the characters are. We care about the characters because of the headcanons that we have crafted around them. And you know what's really frustrating about that? Uh... You know, the more I'm sitting here marinating about it, I'm mm -hmm. actually kind of pissed off about Moreau. Because that's a damn good story. Yeah, he's a scientist. He's just trying to, you know, prove his worth. Like, it's really interesting. And we got a couple of pages of notes. Right. It's, yeah, we, we just met him. And, and he's already we dead. We already don't care about him. Yeah. Well, he's dead, too. Yeah. I, there is no incentive to think about him ever again. Right. Where he, he left zero impact. Okay, we're just going back around here. And I would say, all right, this is about probably about to be an unpopular opinion, but the only reason that Lady Demetresque left an impact is because she's sexy. Yeah. Okay, so Lady Demetresque was actually, gameplay-wise, really well done. Um, I Resident Evil is really good at making bosses that kind of stalk you through the environment. No shit. And uh, <laughs> right. And uh, yeah, that's that's good. I'm I'm here for it. 
Oh, shit. This way, Papa. Oh, is oh. that your daughter speaking to you? No, it's it's Heisenberg fucking with me. Yeah, well, I know. Um, but... Oh, I... I keep, oh, I've already been here. But my point is, is that... Yeah. Story-wise... Rose is waiting for you. Mm -hmm. That's that's great. We like that. Story-wise, Lady Demetresk was no more impactful or interesting. I, I would actually argue to say that the doll witch was far more interesting. So the doll witch was, I think, honestly, the most disappointing part of the game so far. And... Because it's that first part was so good. The first part was so good, and then the part where the actual villain shows up. I don't know. I don't know anything much about this villain. We read her story, and I don't remember any of it because it left zero impact on me. It's not so much. I'm just exploring around at this point okay. to see if we missed. Anything. Um. Right yeah. after after that basement section. That basement section was so fucking good. It was flawless. And then to come back up and you're getting literally chased by killer dolls. Genuinely terrified the shit out of me. Riverbank Treasure House. Ooh, you want to go check up there? That's where Castle Dimitrescu was. I don't know if we can get back there. I don't think we need to go there. Let's see, here's the church. We need to go to the graveyard. This as well. Follow plot. That's a cool name. Yeah, we we are going there, and then we're going there. Mm -hmm. and we're going there. Yeah, we're supposed to be heading towards the uh, the graveyard. Then we go right there. Yeah, I, I remember there was a there was like a house that we got a key to. Yeah, uh, what's her face from the very beginning? The the garden key. Yeah. Thing, and I don't remember where that is. Mm. This map is enormous. Is. And not very well done, in my opinion. Oh, Maestro's Collection, that's it. Okay, so we just go back that way and we go that way, okay. Yeah, because I think it was the Maestro's key that we got. Probably. I'll go down there. Uh, let's just go where it is. Maestro collection. Nope. Yeah, no. We we need to be heading towards the graveyard. Uh, for the story, yes, but I want to get. Really, we need Maestro to find a um. Okay, no. Uh. Save point. Yeah, that would be nice. Because it's about that time. Is it about that time? Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, finding our that that that. A couple of the puzzles took quite a while for tonight for us tonight. Just make sure I'm going the right way. I am wow, how am I missing this all this time? I don't know. Okay. Guys, I'm sorry. It's been a it's been a really bad week to be me. It's all good. We forgive you and we love you. Aw. Yeah. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. Oh my god. Okay, oh my Maiden god, of War. Did it dry. Going back to the Maiden of War. Yes. That's the stat lady statue. Yep, okay. there she is. Lady statue. Okay. Which way now? Okay, from here I turn that way. Right? That way? Through the gate. Through the gate? Is it through the gate? It's not through the gate. It should okay. be just a, what, a left from here. Through but that I, gate? No. I don't think I can... Wait, no, is, this, gonna... is this the way I'm trying to go? That is the way I'm trying to go, and I can't. Hmm. Okay, so... Do you need a crank? Can... No, I don't think I'm going to be able to crank a, a wagon out of my way. You never know. All right, so what's another way around? Up and around the fallow plot, maybe. Yeah, that looks like it could work. Oh. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, it's on, baby. Giant fucking goats. Neat. Dang. I Those weren't expecting, here before, were they? I wasn't expecting goats. 
Save this in this graveyard. Yeah, they were not here before. Man, it sure would be nice if we had a new <laughs> map. Looks like there might be chickens on the way to kill. Oh my god. But I don't know where they are. Yeah, we'll, we'll find them. They're probably flocking somewhere. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I can't go that way either. You know what? I'm, I'm tired of this. Knife fight a goat. Knife fight a goat. Knife fight a goat. Rage, you get me. Bam. Man, goats will fuck your day up, though. Come here, no. goat. Especially, like, knife one that goat. size could probably kill you, to be honest. Yeah, but it can't kill me. You can't kill me. I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> you can't kill it either. How much of a bad bitch are you? <laughs> well, it's entirely possible that we are two bad bitches. Wow, my camera just put me right beside my body. That goat hit me so hard I had out-of-body experience. Out-of-body experience. Yeah, that's what goat goats are vicious, man. Those things are horrible. Hate goats. Everyone's like, oh, look at the cute goat baby. And I'm, I'm like, using, no, that thing stinks. I'm, I'm using my dead by daylight mind game skills. What? Dead by daylight mind game skills. Oh, okay. Is that working? There you go. It is. Oh, turn around. Every now and then Look. I see a little bit being a bomb I got a fucking herb. You're welcome. I love you. I love you. Hey, what is this? Ooh. Is this where you need to be? Uh no, not really. And I'm I'm kinda tired of wandering around aimlessly. Yeah, we gotta find a save point. Nice. 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 Oh, speaking of, um, uh, in case you didn't know, good luck. Uh, we recently launched a Patreon. Yep, that is correct. Uh, I don't Excuse like those. You. Uh, so if you w would like to check it out, please do. There's a lot of fun things. Um, our content will always be free, but if you mm -hmm. want cool extras, yeah. feel free to chip in. Yeah, your viewership means the world to us. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna support us a little bit of extra way, then the option is there available to you. Yep. Uh, like my gorgeous husband says, uh, our content will always be free. Always. We're never gonna lock our content behind paywalls. Nope. Oh, nice, excellent. Hi, guys. Love that. That's great. Y'all want a knife fight? You, you know what that makes me think of? What's that? Uh, the, that first <laughs> scene uh, at Eden Prime in Mass Effect. Yeah. Wow, I love my shotgun. It is a good shotgun. Hi guys. Y'all wanna... Oh, that's pleasant. Y'all wanna bullet fight? Oh my god. This is fine. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. Can you throw the chem flasks at them? No, the chem fluid is made is used for making bullets and health. Oh. Yes, because that is how you famously uh, make did bullets. I just die. Okay. Nom 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 nom. Okay, but I have absolutely no health. No Don't way you have herb? I do not have herb. I thought you picked up an herb. Yeah, like... I thought I picked up an herb too, and yet there we go. Yeah, uh, the, was... the issue was chem fluid. I did not have chem fluid. Okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, it was on that grave. Okay. This is, this is great. This is great. But was yeah, that... like, I'm, I'm not... It's a fun game. It's a really fun game. Yeah. Well... And I would absolutely love 
I'm gonna sh knife What fight. is happening? I gotta knife fight the arrow. I don't think you can do that. You're gonna get set on fire. And also arrow. Come on, buddy. Come on. Arrowed! That was his warning shot. You better move. Yeah, that's not working. Oh, there's such a delay on my knife. Oh, he's like, fuck these arrows. Nice. Is there another one? These guys one? are not super great at... Yep, watch out. Arrowing. Arrowed. Okay, so this is something interesting I've noticed before. Um, burbs. Burbs. Mine. Something interesting you've noticed before. They, these wolfmen were riding horses at the beginning of the game, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can shoot a burb. I cannot shoot a burb. They're very intelligent. Yeah, they have, they definitely have intelligence. And they were just using... Tools. Well, specifically complex tools like a bow and arrow uh, that was on fire yeah so like picking up something and swinging it okay cool you know like chimps do that uh gorillas do that lighting an arrow on fire and shooting it yeah that requires judgment intelligence all that so these guys are not mindless no. monsters Which means they're sentient, possibly even sapient. Possibly. Which I think is just neato interesting. Yeah, but it like it also I don't know, it kind of muddles the the line between are these monsters or aren't they, you know? At least to me, like, it's... Ah, uh, there's a barrel. Yeah, I, I, I would blow myself up at this point. No, I won't. There's another one. Yeah, I would absolutely blow myself up. So I get distance. Wow, I, I'm definitely going to need to craft some ammo. Yeah, for sure. You're about to be in trouble, mister. Which is kind of a hallmark of, like, any survival horror game is, you know. Where are you supposed to go? Probably upstairs. Oh, those stairs. Okay. But what's over here? I think that's... How do I get this door open? Oh my god, Ethan. No, not yet. I'm saving them for uh, a special occasion. Oh? Um, and do you know what that special occasion is? What? When I remember that I have them. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now we gotta get that there. I think Ethan has asthma. Like any little sign of distress, and he starts breathing really heavily. I keep forgetting which button is what. Man, I hope there's a save point. Yeah, I could use one of those. Suck if you had to go all the way back. Oh no, I'm pretty sure it checkpoints me. Ooh, that was nice. Thank you, Hubs. Good job. Oh! oh hi, buddy. Shut him in the dick. <laughs> okay, that's not. That was good while it lasted, but now it's over. I love how he just pours it on his hand. Don't you think drinking it would be more effective? That hand is pretty much lost. I don't know. Ugh. God, there is such a delay in my blocking. Like, I wonder why that is. There, there's a delay in almost everything. Like, there's not a delay in the knife swings or the shooting. 
It's not the controller, is it? No, it's it's not. I think it's just the game design. Well, that's really shitty game design. But like, because it takes about a half second for the guard to come up after I throw it. Okay, so where's the... Oh, hey, buddy. He was behind you the whole time. But yeah, they're, once their animation starts... Okay, once they throw their arms out to go you attack can't me, do right? Anything, yeah. I, I instinctively bring my guard up, but it doesn't it's too happen. late. The animation is already playing out. Maybe you just need to get through that door. Well, I've got to I've got to pull the other lever first. Oh, okay. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Jesus. Oh, Ethan. Yeah. Let's, so bad let's at this. I'm thinking maybe running over to the other lever when you're not swarmed might be a good idea. Because, like, I feel like there's just more and more yeah, baddies. I, I, I thought about that, but the reason I didn't is because those guys drop a lot of good stuff. Right. Oh, and I'm, okay. running low on, I'm running low on supplies. Okay. Well. It's a good idea. Great idea. But... That's my strategy most of the time because I am very bad at games and so I just try to like run through as much as possible. Oh, I didn't realize we were at the slowest door in the world. Slowest door in the world. Better than the slowest elevator in the world, which is what we experienced earlier. Right. And then it just drops. <laughs> Yeah, I think the game might actually expect you to do the run over to the lever strat because that is exactly when you're going to get swarmed with werewolves. But yeah, so... Oh, we got it. Ah, good. All right, All right. What's, right cool. what's our time? Uh, 8.29. 8.29. Right on time. All right. Nice. All right, so what have we learned today? Uh... We, we have learned that if you're going to build your game mm -hmm. around how interesting your villains are... Mm -hmm. Make them interesting villains. Yeah. you And the thing is, these villains are interesting. The narrative just isn't letting them be as interesting as they should be. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we've also learned that you think my jokes are cod-awful. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you the way you are? Well, see, my father was a fisherman, but see, he had to quit. Uh, you know why? His net profits were too low. Ah! <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, Rage has got a good point here. There's a, there's a very interesting trope about specifically French men who want the love of a woman being stripped of their humanity and, yes. and either restored through love or that idea being subverted. I like it was so cute, you guys. He just he just did a handhold with his cat beans. Um, yeah, no, that's that's one of my favorite tropes actually. But yeah. it's interesting to see it pop up here of all places. If you want your audience to respond well to your antagonist, like look, Ethan is boring. He is a boring, Ethan boring is so man. So boring. Um there is there is nothing interesting about him. Um, I hope that changes, but right now, he's boring. He's always been boring. So the game is heavily leaning on the charisma and the presentation of its villains, which so far has been... Lackluster? It's been a lot of interesting showcases, but then afterwards it has to tell us why we should have cared about the showcase. Right. Like, not before or during, not in any way that's organic. Like with the basement baby, right? The basement baby had pacing, had really good pacing. Mm -hmm. It built up. Yep. That was environmental storytelling. But it built up to a very mm -hmm. subpar 
and well, no, 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 no. The the basement part on its own. Oh yeah, had its own narrative arc, and contained in itself was wonderful. The climax was good. The presentation was good. But when she it, got into that elevator, yeah. Once once it was over. Yeah, I just like bad. I just like making the dangle boy dangle. So yeah, like I I still know next to nothing about the doll lady and her motivation, and we read her documents. Right, her um, entire thing. Moreau is a really interesting villain in concept, and I would love to be able to sympathize with him. But poor, so poorly executed that we just don't give a fuck. Yeah, the 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 showcases are good. I like the fact that all the bosses, most of the bosses, are basically turning into bloodborne monsters. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I dig that, but like, uh, I I don't know. Lady Dimitrescu so far had the most meat to her character in just the presentation of who she was, and then it was all downhill from there. Yeah. Um, hopefully Heisenberg is better. Where we will find out next time next week on resident evil uh if you like what if you like what we do uh please consider giving us a follow if you're watching on youtube hi youtube people hi uh, youtube people uh, can consider uh following us on youtube uh if you want to support us you can go ahead and do that through patreon uh it's been great to have you guys you guys are amazing fantastic all right fantastic oh my ah, god ah, ah. <sighs> We love you all. And there's nothing you can do about it. Bye. Bye.